Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in uh, Design Spark Mechanical. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own 12 inch uh, vintage film reel, kind they use to make movies with. So we'll go ahead and open up Design Spark. They actually used to store the film on the reel, not, not make movies with it. You get the idea. Okay, we'll go ahead and say new, new design. We're going to come over here to file and we're going to go down to Design Spark to make sure that the units are in inches and they're not, they're in metric. So we'll go back to Imperial. Go ahead and click the plan view. We'll minimize and then we're going to drag in this reference film rail here. We'll blow that up. We'll go ahead and get our circle tool. I'm going to have on snap to grid. And we're going to draw this out to 12. It's good. It's going to be a big film rail, but this is probably about the average size that they were. Some were even bigger than this. So go control minus. We're going to click on that graphic there. I'm going to hold down the shift key. And then we're going to click on the lower left. And we're going to blow this up. So it's pretty close to the size that we need it to be. All right, we'll go with that. That looks pretty good. Now we'll control plus to zoom in. So the first thing we're going to create is that square notch in the middle. So we're going to go, in, go ahead and get the rectangular tool. We're going to define rectangle from center. So we'll go ahead and control plus on the keyboard to zoom in. We're going to go ahead and drag out this 0.5 half an inch by half an inch square. It's going to be our first step. I'm going to move over this reel just a little bit here. Okay, um, now we're going to go ahead and create these circles. So we're going to go ahead and make these circles 1.25 inches in diameter. So we'll go ahead and create one, and then we're going to go click on that one. We're going to come up here to move, and then we're going to say check this create pattern over here on the left. Then we're going to drag this center point down to the middle, and we're going to start to rotate until we have five. I'll let go. Click the uh, pointer tool to click off. Now we're going to go control minus. Now we're going to put these circles up here. So go ahead and control plus. We'll grab our pan tool to pan down. We'll go ahead and create one right here. These are going to be 0.5. All right, we'll do the same thing here. We're going to select the circle that we just created. We're going to click on move. We're going to come over here and check the create pattern box. And then we're going to move this. Now we're going to spin this around and then click on the select to click off. <clears throat> now we have to create this piece right here. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get a circle. And we're going to make this circle 1.25. And then um, we're going to make another circle from the middle. We're going to come up here. This is going to be our uh, angle. Okay, I guess we can go to there. That's going to be 10.762 inches. I'll go ahead and create that first. And we'll click, we're going to get rid of that circle there. And now we're going to bring this line. Let's go from midpoint there to something that looks even on both sides. So we need to draw this side and we need to draw that side. So we're gonna go ahead and right mouse click on that line and set as mirror. Now we'll go ahead and drag our, it doesn't matter if it matches theirs exact. We want ours to be pretty close, but we'll go 1.250, enter. Okay, now we're gonna go create a circle here, 
probably about right here. 1.25. That's good. Now we're going to go ahead and get our get a line here, which is our tangent line. And we're going to go ahead and create a tangent line from there over to here. And now we have the basic shape that we need. Now we're going to go ahead and get the three-point arch. And we're going to go from here over to here. Actually, you know what? Let's get the select tool. We're going to have to get rid of this now. The mirror line. So we'll go ahead and delete the mirror line. We can delete this line. We don't need it anymore. And now we'll go ahead and get back to our three point arch. And we'll go from there over to there. And then we'll just kind of bow this up. <clears throat> then we'll go ahead and select. Now we're going to get our trim away tool. We're going to trim away all these pieces here we don't need. Now we're going to control minus to zoom out. We really don't need this uh, graphic anymore. The only other thing we have to put in there is this angle uh, slot, and that's going to be easy enough. So we'll go ahead and delete. We'll get our select tool, click on the graphic, hit delete. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select just that right there. And then we're going to go ahead and say move, select move, and it click create pattern. We're going to drag that round bulb to the center. Now we're going to click the blue, drag around until we got five. One, two, three, four, or six actually. There we go, right there. Okay, so this is going to be our basic film reel. Um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, create pull. We're going to go get our spin tool. We're going to rotate this. Now we're going to come in here and get rid of all these pieces by holding down the control key. We don't need them all. Hold down the control key. It's going to take a second here. Once you have all of them, just hit delete. And now we're going to go ahead and give this this some thickness. We don't want it too thick. Probably like uh, 0 0.220. We'll go ahead and make it that thin. That might be a little too thick, but we can adjust later. So now what we're going to do, go ahead and select this. We're going to go Control C. Control V, which is going to be copy and paste. I'm going to hit move and we're going to move this over. Let's just type in 1.5 inches. Okay, now we'll go to this arrow tool. So now we have our film reel and we have to put a uh, circle in the middle there and extrude it out. So we're going to go ahead, uh, click on the face of this. We're going to go to plan, plan view. We're going to control plus to zoom in. We're going to go ahead and get our circle tool. We're going to come from the middle there out 1.5. Okay, now we're going to go pull. Go ahead and spin this. Not sure where my <clears throat> where my thing went to, but it looks like it's right in there. So we'll go ahead and Spin this, and we'll say pull. We're going to click there, and we're going to spin this a little bit. Now we're going to say pull, but we're going to click this up to, and we're going to go up to here. Okay, so now we're going to select off. Okay, now we have our basic film row. Um, And what I'm going to do is actually move these. These things are a little too thick. So we're going to get our pull. We're going to click and we're going to drag in a little bit. We're going to drag in 0.130. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to spin and do the same on this side. Get your pull tool, pull this in. Oh, point one three zero. Okay. So that looks like that's pretty good film reel to start. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the face here. We'll go ahead and check, click plan video. We'll control minus. Let's go ahead and pan this over. Now we'll control plus to zoom in. Control plus to zoom in. Now we're going to go pan this over a little bit more. Now we're going to put a line right in there and we're going to notch it. Go ahead and get your line tool. Go from right there. Go straight through up to the first one. Click. Now we'll select the click off. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our offset curve. And we're going to offset this over 0.88. We'll come down and do the bottom one the same. We'll select. Go ahead and get our line tool. We're going to cap these from top over and then from that line over. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get rid of the one in the middle. Don't need that. Now we're going to zoom out, so control minus. We're going to say pull. We're going to go ahead and spin this. Now we're going to go ahead and select. Let's go get our select tool. Let's click on all these pieces here. Hold down the control key. Go ahead and select pull. Then we're going to go I'm going to pull right straight through. Okay, go ahead and get your spin tool. Make sure that looks okay. Make sure it didn't interfere with the circle in the middle. It looks like it, everything is good. So now we're going to go ahead and click that circle there, hit delete. We'll go ahead and go to top view. This is going to be our vintage film reel. So the only other thing I would do to this is add some fillets. Now we're going to go ahead and pull. Click on all of these. So to do that, we'll hold down the control key. We'll get them all. Usually about three clicks will do it. Okay, now I'm going to go to pull. Give this a little pull. And we'll go out to about 0 0.30 inches. Okay, we're going to do that on these. And we're going to do it on that right there and this one right there. So we'll hold Control key down, grab our pull. We'll go to 0 0.30. Now we're going to get all our circles. Just hold down the Control key. Okay, we'll go to pull. We're going to pull those 0 0.030. All right, now we're going to go ahead and spin. Spin this around to the back. Do the same thing over there. Three clicks. Okay, go to pull. Drag this out. Point, point oh three oh. All right, now we're going to grab our circles. Get multiple selections by holding down your control key. Grab our pull tool, give it a pull of 0.30. Okay. I'm not going to do the inside because you won't see that, but we'll go, we, what we will do is go ahead. I'm going to put a chamfer on that so there's not a weak point when you, uh, when you print this. So we're going to go ahead and pull. 
we'll go to 0 0.050. We'll pan over. Give this a little spin. Click and drag. Go to spin. Go to pull. Click to Well, point point oh five oh. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go to the view. We'll view from top. Okay, this is going to be our um, our vintage film reel. Um, the only other thing we can do is go ahead. We're going to go ahead and save it. Uh, we'll save it as a um, native um, Design Spark mechanical file, and then we're going to come up here and save it as an STL for printing. But what we're also going to do is give it a give it a texture in um, Rhino. So we'll go ahead and drag this STL file on top of Rhino. Go ahead and say OK. Then we'll go double click on the top so it's one plane. Change the view to rendered. Now we're going to grab a color by hitting that plus, and we'll double click on import from material library. We'll grab a metal. Um, let's just say burnished, and we'll do burnished bronze. Let's try that. Click and drag over. Okay. Don't look too bad. Now we're going to go ahead and go to click that down arrow and change our top view to set view. We're going to go to perspective. Now we're going to um, give this a little ray trace render. Come down to view and we'll change from rendered to ray trace. This could take a while depending on how fast your computer is. I've got a fairly fast laptop, so it should do it in a minute or so. Right now it's at approaching 300 of 1,000 ray trace cycles. Once it gets to 1,000, it's finished. But um, one thing I want to recommend is don't, if you do anything to your uh, ray trace rendering, like if you rotate the, 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 the reel or you change colors, it's going to start over again. So um, just let it kind of uh, run to the 1,000. And then um, if you don't like it, you could go back and make some changes to it. We're at 700 now, 300 more to go. It shouldn't take too much longer. And what I'm going to do after this is I'll do a screen capture and then I'll go ahead and um, post this video on uh, YouTube. Okay, it's at 950, 980. Okay, we're done. So to do this, there is a way to do the shortcut from Rhino, but I got used to doing um, uh, Windows key plus the shift plus S, all of those three. And you get this little window that allows you to take a, a snip, they call it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I go ahead and open it and paint, do a paste, crop if it's oversized, and then I'll just save it out as a uh, JPEG and then just call, we'll just call this rail. Go ahead and save and then we'll close it. Okay, that's gonna end today's tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thank you for watching.